we're going to change direction some and look at how math is done, how math is put together. If you have strings of items, what operations, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, which of those do you do first, second, and third if you're not told specifically do this first, do this second? And we refer to that as the order of operations. We need a standard order of operations so that basically we're all on the same ballpark when we do a calculation. So if I do one or you do one and we see things written out, we get the same results for the same thing that's written out. And this was particularly useful with calculators when you wrote out a row of operations along a single line and then needed to interpret in terms of using the calculator which ones to do first, second, or third. So let's look at that order. For example, here we want to ask if we have 4 plus 8 divided by 4, what do we do first? For example, if, do we take the 4 plus 8, add that, and then divide the answer by 4? If we do that, we get 3. On the other hand, do we take the, four, the 8, divide that by 4, then add the 4, and if we do that, we get 6? So you see, we need to have some sort of standard so that when we do these things, we know what we're talking about and can arrive at the same answer. So let's see how we've worked this out, what everyone, at least at this point, has agreed to and what all of us will agree to when we do these problems because, of course, that's what we're going to ask you to do and what we're going to grade you on. Let's look at a reasonably complicated string and see if we can sort this out according to the order of operations. So the first thing we need to do is locate any parentheses. And we're going to treat that as a mini problem as we go through this. The next thing we need to do, the next thing in the order of operations, is locating any powers and roots. And we see here that we have the square root of 121. Then we need to see where all the multiplication and divisions are. And we see we have a division. Um, the quantity 2 squared plus 8 is divided by 4, and we have a multiplication 2 times 2, so we have to know that. And finally, we have to note any additions and subtractions. And we see we have, um, within the brackets, we see we have uh, an addition, and then outside we see we have a couple of addition operations. So the first thing we need to do is treat that quantity in parentheses as a mini problem. Let's go do that on a separate slide and then go back. So again, using the same parentheses, powers, roots, multiplication, division, we see we uh, don't have any parentheses inside those parentheses, so we're done with one, but we have a power and root so 2 squared, we make that a 4. Then we don't have any multiplication or divisions in there, but finally we have some addition subtractions. So we make that, in, um, add that up, I should say. And so the value of the quantity that was in the parentheses is 12. Now we go back and substitute that 12 in. The next thing we need to go after are any powers and roots, having done all the material inside the parentheses, and I see that I have a square root of 121 in that string that I'm going to have to deal with. So I go back to that and replace the square root of 121 with an 11. So now I've done with parentheses, powers and roots, now I need to go after the multiplication division. I see I have a 12 divided by 4, that's going to give me 3, and I see I have a 2 plus 2 there. So I do those operations and again replace that with um, the values. So now I have addition subtraction left and I can do that operation 3 plus 4 plus 11. I do the addition subtraction last and get 18. And so I'm done with this problem. And again, you see that 
when you have an order of operations problem, you need to divide it up into steps so that first of all you look for parentheses and step one is separating those out and treating it as a mini problem. The next thing you do is look for powers and roots. Basically anything that can be done by itself without involving another number and powers and roots it's two squared, that's all there is. There's no other number than the two. You've got to work on that. Square root of 121, that's it. So you work on that. Then we went to multiplication, division. Then we went to addition, subtraction. Let's look at another problem and see if we can sort it out. So the first thing we need to do is remember, and I just use PPMA, um, parentheses, powers, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So I see that we don't have any parentheses there. We can forget about that, but we go over the scale a little bit and we do have some power. We have three squared. So I need to deal with that and replace that with a nine. The next thing I need to deal with is that multiplication, three times six, and that becomes 18. Now I see I have a division in there, which is 18 divided by 9, so I need to deal with that. Finally, I have an addition subtraction, and I can just add that up, and I get that the result is 6. So you see, we have, again, no parentheses. Good, that makes it easy. We spot the powers. Then we do the multiplication and divisions that are indicated. And finally, we do the addition and subtractions. Let's look at one more of these examples just to bring the point home. So now we have something that looks a little bit more complicated, but we find we have no powers. That makes it easy. But we have two different types of parentheses. Um, the, uh, the curved brackets, nested inside the square brackets. So what that tells us is we need to deal with the most inside brackets first. So we need to deal with the 3 plus 2 and the 4 plus 5. Then we move to the next outer brackets and deal with those. So you start at the most inside point. Let's do that. So when we do that, we remember again parentheses, powers, multiplication, and addition. So we see we have two inside brackets there, and let's deal with those. We see 3 plus 2 is 5, 4 plus 5 is 9, so we're done with that. Now we have pure multiplications in there. I see I have, first of all, a 3 times 9, so that's 27. The 5 comes down. Now I see that 5 and 27 inside the square brackets get multiplied. So I deal with that multiplication and finally I deal with the additions or subtractions and there's an addition there. So my final result for that fairly complicated looking string of numbers and operations is 140. So PPMA, parentheses, powers, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. If you remember that, you can pick these things apart. And the other thing you need to remember is not to get anxious. You need to do these things on a step-by-step-by-step -step -step basis.